Welcome to my channel, All for Health with Jane. We are on the Senzo Meiwa Meda trial, a trial within a trial. Family, you know I'm one person who believes in having healthy arguments rather than toxic arguments. Much as I am aware that there are some people who take things very personal and they end up saying words that do not show respect. My belief is that we are different. That is the beauty of God. You know, I, I like it when we argue in order to agree. God has made us different purposely so as to complement each other. From the same arguments, we need to learn from each other. Family, I wish we could all have sportsmen's spirit. You know, people who support sports, for an example, Kaiser Chiefs and those who support Orlando Pirates, they do not fight each other. Instead, with a positive spirit, they will bet for the results. They don't allow the winning of the opposite team to divide them. If my team does not play well, I do not divorce my husband or chase my son out of my house. How I wish South Africa could have that. Let the death of Senzo Meiwa and AKA and Tips not divide us. Let's not have more casualties because of them, but instead, let's be one to fight the enemy. Let's be one family. Let's continue to respect one another. At the end, the truth will prevail. You know, so to Siri, Makaha Ana Mukoka. Maka Mukoka it's endurance. Uh, Mukoka it's it's a um, it's a stamina, a energy for maybe if I have to simplify this word, Mokoka. Maka, it's lies. So uh, uh, by this, this simply means if you tell lies today, next year, the possibility is next year when you have to tell the same thing, in most cases, you will say it in a different way. Uh, or you, you'll say a, def, a different thing altogether. Family, what we are doing, it is just to give you our opinion and you are free to believe, you are free to argue, to comment, or just pass. You watch, listen, and you, you just pass. Even if sometimes we we asking you to like, share, comment, and do what. If you don't do it, no harm. No harm. We're just asking you to give us support because we're doing what we like. Okay, family. Now let's get to today's business. Yesterday, I posted this video. This one, the one that you see on this um, video now, I posted it and I entitled it Advocate Mkomezulu on fire as he is doing his arguments. That was the title of this video. Family, please watch it before you watch this current video, the one that I'm making now. Before you watch this one, Please watch uh, the, uh, uh, yesterday's one. Or otherwise, after you have watched this current one, please go back and watch yesterday's one. And then you will understand why am I making this video. You know, yesterday after posting it, this video attracted a very interesting debate. To be honest, I really enjoyed this debate as I learned a lot from you, family. The reason why I am making this one, this video that you're going to watch now, the reason why I'm making it, it, it is a follow-up of yesterday's video. There are two questions or rather two points from yesterday's video that I am addressing on this one. 
by the way, family, I promised you yesterday that I am going to uh, make a video to address the questions that we had yesterday, or maybe the misunderstanding or the arguments that we had yesterday. First question is that of Advocate Mkomezulu spending a lot of time on one point that, according to me, I thought it was a waste of time. That was on the accused uh, uh, being, uh, uh, I remember it was on the accused being wrongfully and unlawfully arrested. Family, I had you. I heard you and I agree with you, especially those who said it is important to argue that because if the accused were wrongfully and unlawfully arrested as the starting point, everything that follows is going to be unlawful. Thank you for that advice. I am taking that advice and I understood you very well. So let's move to the next question. Uh, the second point that I want to address here is that uh, uh, of those who said, I hate Mkomezulu. Some said, I, Jane, when are you a hate M uh, advocate Mkomezulu? And I said, there is no way I can hate advocate Mkomezulu. Um, you said this when I say I don't like it when he sometimes is somersault or when he contradicts what he said before. That's what I said. I don't like that. And to be honest, family, there is no way I'm going to say he impresses me when he just somersault. Like, I know it's the strategy. Maybe some people can say that. But personally, somewhere I feel it's it's overdone. It's overdone to an extent that everybody can see that, you know. And and uh, I gave an example. I used a, a, a that of Magistrate Gronye, where Advocate um, Gomezulu was interrogating Magistrate Gronye. He asked her if she was scared. Uh, of the police that he found in the passage at the uh, at the courts building in Boxbeck. And Kronje said, near, no. He said it in Africans, near, I was, I, I was not scared. So, and yesterday, when Advocate Mkwemezulu was giving uh, uh, his conclusion arguments or concluding his arguments, um, Advocate Ngomezul said to Judge Rata, um, if those people could scare the magistrate, what about an ordinary accused person? This was another version. Because the first version, uh, then in October, when he, he was uh, in, uh, interrogating her, he said, are you scared? And uh, uh, Kronje said, near. And because of this, most people in the comment section said, I am lying. Kronje said she was scared. Family, this video is specifically for those who said I am lying. So I looked for, <clears throat> for the previous videos, Pre previous videos where Kronje was talking about or maybe where Kronya was questioned about those heavily armed police in the passage at the court building in Boxbeck. So the first person, when we first hear of Kronya seeing those heavily armed police, it was when he was, uh, she, not he, it was when she was giving her evidence in chief to advocate Baloyi. Then the second occasion, it's when sh she is being interviewed by advocate uh, Mkomezulu. And the last time, it's when she was interviewed by advocate Mshololo. 
if I have missed any other, because when I looked at the other, advocates did not want to cross-examine her. So they said they don't have questions for her. So Advocate Mshololo was the last person to. So it was only three. If maybe in case I missed another one, family, you can check for me in the comment section. Then you tell me that, uh, check so-and-so. Because when she, he was interviewing her, she, that's where she indicated that she is scared. So, but otherwise, for now, I have the clips. I'm going to stop here and you listen to the clips. And uh, maybe at the end, I will just give a closing comment. Let's watch family. And I'm going to start the word of the Kruileni Metro Police Beamtes, who found what was weapon, what was around gestaan in beweging. In the passage, I then found a strong contingent uh, of Egoruleni uh, uh, Metro Police uh, who were standing there as well as uh, moving around and uh, who were also armed. Ngatumase uh, ngambage e pasichi ni ngatolage e amapoisage na maa metro police ase guruleni aye konage la apu gledo pasichi lelo futige aye shlomile. Amanya ye mile, amanya ye aye hamba hamba na menyagazi. Yen kant van hulle, by di, of na ba di deer van die betroke kantoor het ek a jongerig man gesien staan wat in handboeie was. Uh, on the one side of uh, where they were, uh, on one side of the passage, uh, uh, just uh, close uh, to the door, I saw a young man uh, who was uh, handcuffed. Nasang bonage, a conage la, pogolunje, Utlamoti, la, Babimi corner, a gunens iswage, a yami, la, poge, footy, ifagwe, ozangos. Hij heeft van die betrokken beweging van die Ekuruleni metropolitie leden. En te samen met hom het gestaan een ander oude rige man uh, wat nekies gekleed was in een pak kleren wat uh, bij hom gestaan het. Uh, he was just standing away uh, from uh, the movement uh, of the, the Egoruleni Metro Police and uh, next to him was an elderly gentleman who was uh, smartly uh, dressed, uh, who was uh, uh, clothed in a suit. Uh, Ekuruleni-Metro-Police-Leader-Ekuruleni-Metro-Police-Leader-Ekuruleni-Metro-Police-Leader-Ekuruleni-Metro-Police-Leader-Ekuruleni-Metro-Police-Leader-Ekuru
towards the office that was prepared for you, that is room two, you saw police officers who were heavily armed. Is that correct? That is correct. That is correct. Were you not frightened? No. No. <coughs> A few moments later. The presence of the police, there's authority to that effect. Having fully armed, and the person who was going to take the confession, a magistrate, felt threatened. How about the person who was under arrest? Family, this is what I heard. This is what I heard. So in the comment section, let's talk about this. Then let's listen to Advocate Mshololo. This is the last clip. Ms. Kronia, I just have a few questions on the, on the document that you completed. On the first page, wherein you wrote and remarked that Sergeant V. Mahai Mohane, accompanied by heavily aimed Metro police officials. You see that note? By heavily armed, yes, thank you. So it means the accused at the time when he was brought to you, he was brought by heavily armed police officials. Metro police uh, officers, you are correct. Yeah, okay. Why catch okay? I'm a police officer. Me there, metro police. <coughs> okay. And from your experience, you've said you have done more than fifty. You have taken more than fifty statements. Am I correct? I said approximately fifty. Uh, confessions. He take Ungaba, the Ama confessions out of 50, the eggs and wins. Okay. Out of those statements that we have taken, if you come across with a person who has been brought by Metro Police officers or a person who will be brought by SAPS members. I have encountered this that police officers bring them. Yes, will those police be heavily armed as well? Okay, uh, this was the first uh, instance where okay. I would come from outside and walk into a, an office. For a confession, Oguti Games of Wednesday is that meant there again? Maybe the other gevallen was a great in my cantor geweest, and is the person na my to bring, so I weet nie in welke omstandigheid hulle gebring is nie die polisie beamte wat hom bring kom wel saam met hom in. Uh, then uh, I would be in the office, the person would be brought to me, so I wouldn't know the uh, circumstances under which that person or persons would be brought, but the police officer accompanying that person would come into the office uh, with the person. Okay. 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 In side besonder hier de verschaffing, dan verlaat hij die kantoor. As soon after the police officer who accompanies the person who comes to make a confession, uh, brought the person in, gives me his particulars, that person or that police officer would then leave the office. Bese gutige umang aba ipo isa lelo edim kapilege, noma edim letile, bese edim genisile na pagati la mingeza imini waneyalo, bese lia kumage e office. Okay, so... This was the first incident that you witnessed. 
this was the first incident that you witnessed or that you came across with from your experience to see an accused person being brought by heavily armed police officials. That is correct. That is correct. We can also talk about the fact that we can 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 and when you, dis when you requested for their appointment certificate, they disappeared. That is correct. That is correct. We can also have a certificate for our members. And no one could give you the reason why they ran away when you Did asked. They ran away. Uh, can I just rephrase my lord? Yes. And no one told you the reason why they decided to leave when we have instructed them to give you their appointment certificates? Yeah. No. But they defied your instruction. Am I correct? You are right. 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 In conclusion, family, I would like to emphasize and say I do not hate Advocate Ngome Zulu. I only hate obvious contradictions and somersaulting. Family, for him to win, I, I believe there are those who will agree with me that for him to win this case, family, he need to stop this or he need to reduce it. This is normally caused by, you know, when a person is not well prepared. That's, that's my, that's my stand. That's my opinion at the same time. So family, thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Please like it before you leave. Subscribe for my channel if you haven't done so yet. I love you, family. See you on my next upload. Bye.